Dr. Dennis McQuaig won the Nobel Prize for his work at this clinic in Congo, which we visited in 2016. All of these women have been raped. So I see you have a, a still nursing little boy. Uh, how old is your son? The child is sick and myself, I'm sick. Her name is Letitia. The rapist gave her and her baby HIV. Doesn't it overwhelm you? This is sometimes just uh, breaking my heart. and But uh, I feel that uh, I'm uh, powerless. But Dr. McQuaige is far from powerless. Over two decades, he's operated on more than 45,000 rape survivors. Militants in Congo use rape as a weapon to frighten villagers off their land especially if the land is rich with minerals. Dr. McQuaige has to travel with bodyguards. The gangs tried to kill him. It didn't stop him. I can see how women are strong to fight. This is something we are really pushing me to go on and say uh, it's not the end, uh, but we have to fight. Dr. McQuaige was here performing surgery when he learned he'd won the Nobel. Now his work giving care and hope is being recognized, but sadly, it's not finished. Richard Engel, NBC News, Bukavu, Congo. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.